images you see here were created with artificial intelligence text-to-image model Midjourney. Each creation process takes only a few minutes. Today I'll teach you how to create similar quality images yourself. What applications you need to install to start using Midjourney and how to create your personal text-to-image prompt to achieve excellent result. Actually, you need not any installations to start creating brilliant art with Midjourney. All the activities conducted through internet. But because Midjourney uses Discord board, I recommend to install Discord application because it's much more comfortable. So we start with Discord page, link in description, all links in description, and download your release. I use Windows, so I select download for Windows. After Discord installation, open the program and register as Discord user. Let's do it now. Here I print my email, think a few seconds for good username and put it into username cell and create strong password. I suggest to have more than 8 characters, including letters, special symbols and digits. Enter your date of birth. Then press continue. Confirm your real person. You'll need to conduct small test here. When finished, go to your mailbox and confirm verification of your email address. Press verify email button and you'll come back to Discord application. First part done. Now let's go to Midjourney website and press community showcase. You can see what extraordinary art Midjourney's community created. Keep in mind that each art accompanied with text prompt. You'll be able to copy it and paste into Discord Midjourney bot prompt to generate similar quality image. But now our aim is to register. So go to the left bottom part of the screen and press sign in. Here is white button at the right, sign in with Discord. Let's press this button and confirm that you authorize to use Discord with Midjourney. After this your personal account page on Midjourney website appears. Here you need to press join the Discord to start creating. Let's press this link and we immediately switch to Discord application and ready to confirm Midjourney usage. Press join Midjourney button. Voila, you are now at Midjourney Discord server. By default, you are at home page, scroll it to observe showcase of excellent artworks created by Midjourney users. You'll be able to generate the same quality art in the nearest future. Stay with me and let's proceed. To start generating art, we need to go to newcomers room. As you can see, there are newbies threads, newbies 46, newbies 16, newbies 76. Let's click on one of them. And here we'll try to generate our first text-to-image artwork using all power of Midjourney. Press slash and you can see few variants of its usage. Press settings and then enter. To generate images of quality demonstrated at the beginning of this video, you need Midjourney version 4. Click this button for Midjourney 4. This will switch your Midjourney bot to default usage of recent Midjourney release. 
to start using Midjourney bot, you need to confirm rules. Just start generating image. It is done by using imagine command. So we press slash and select imagine and for example print here one word chameleon you should see message from Midjourney bot this stripe updated regularly so if some people add data this message will move to the top simply scroll back to return to this communication read Midjourney terms of service rules and press accept tools when tools accepted, you are ready to create your first Midjourney artwork with the help of Midjourney board. My congratulations! Now is the most interesting part of process. Go to input zone, press slash and select imagine. As you understood, this command give Midjourney board instruction to generate beautiful image from text. Let's print something like chameleon against blue sky as you can see prompt is quite simple but because we are using as you remember midjourney release 4 we have chance to receive excellent fantasy generated by artificial intelligence all you need to do is press enter let's scroll back to enlarge these different variants simply click on them not bad for first time am i right open original and you'll be able to see image in full resolution also you are able to save image just press right mouse button and select save as let's come back to discord and I'll tell you what these nine buttons under these images mean. U1, U2, U3, U4, V1, V2, V3, V4 and button with two arrows. This button means reimagine. If we press it, Midjourney bot will generate a new set of four new images for you. Concerning buttons, U it first word of upscale so when you satisfied with this intermediary result you are able to generate biggest higher quality image v its first letter from varia in case you like for example image number four and want to generate some small fluctuations of this image you may simply press v4 button and generate new set of images let's try this out i'll press reimagine all your new messages are stored in mailbox here is button at top right corner of discord window press on it and in mentions zone your generations appear so you even do not need to scroll stripe with uh, many different variants as you understand all of them are visible to people who participate and select your new choice simply press jump to go to new message click on four variants to observe our second attempt not bad what do you think now let's experiment with variants for example, we want to generate a few variants of first image, top right corner of selection. Simply press V1. You can check your messages in inbox, even open it and you will see how selection of images generated. 55% you can see here and now 100%. Let's now enlarge chameleon from our first set of images simply jump to first message and press u1 as you remember u means upscale some kind of magic will appear check your mailbox you can see that here is message from Midjourney board with good news that something generated for you when ready click on it to open detailed view and press open original to observe final art excellent 
Save image. Now I'll teach you how to enhance prompt. I'll press jump to appear in front of message. Then we'll copy text and start new generation. Press slash, select imagine where prompt appear, paste our text. As we know, Chameleon able to change colors and you can paint his uh, body in colors you like. For these purposes, simply add some additional words. Let's print colorful. Then add colors you want to appear. For example, blue, green, and red. Also, here is a trick how to specify how much blue to achieve in uh, our image. Without any spaces, twice press colon and then digit larger than one. By default, word have weight of one. And now we add weight of two to blue. Also, we may enlarge amount of red color. In the same manner, we add two after red. In case you want to make chameleon bigger, use the same trick for red chameleon. Two semicolons and two. After sky, we'll put weight of 0.5. We want to have less amount of blue sky in our image. To add some foliage, right? some foliage at background. Be sure to write without mistakes because majority bot do not understand mistakes. So check your spelling before proceeding. Also I want to add photographic touch to our image. That's why I'll add following phrases to our prompt. Photo real, medium format film, 120 film. These parameters specify high quality photographic output. At the end, with the help of two dashes, you are able to add some parameters. For example, proportions of image. For proportions, print dash dash AR, that means aspect ratio, then space and 3 to 2. This aspect ratio supported. Also, with the help of these two minuses and uh, where no add something you do not want to have in your image. For example, no clouds. We want clear blue sky at background. When ready, press enter. Let's check our mail. Generation started. It's actually very interesting to Observe how image is generated from nothing. As you can see, now we have portrait in foliage with photographic touch. Press open original and click to enlarge it to full resolution. Most of all, I like false variant. Let's uh, make another turn. Simply jump to this message and press reimagine. Let's check our masterpiece, open original. To my mind, this fourth chameleon from first set is the best. So we go to correspondent message and make few variants of fourth chameleon. Press V4. As you remember, V means variants. Now let's check which of four Chameleons will use for enlargements. Let, for example, enlarge first one. Jump to image and this time we select U1, so we want to upscale first chameleon. Let's go to message. Enlarge our image to observe original. Extraordinary. Everything is beautiful except, as you can see, chameleon have a lot, a lot of additional fingers. Of course, you are able to remove them exactly in Photoshop. But here is trick you need to know. 
go to message generated here you are able to make variations button at the left with magic vent press it and observe the magic probably second image is the best so let's upscale second one press u2 in case you understood what i explained today you are ready to proceed with your personal prompts you can try any other animal what about to generate beautiful parrot image don't hesitate to experiment after second variant we still have some fluctuations with uh, problematic fingers as you can see little touch of photoshop still necessary but good news all your artworks collected at your personal web page at midjourney.com app so you can go to your midjourney account and download any image to your computer i open image in photoshop use content aware healing brush tool to quickly remove unnecessary elements also i used cloning stem for selection lasso tool when done i switch to adobe photoshop neural filters to enlarge chameleon two times even you crop just head you'll achieve good quality here is our final result if you appreciate this video don't forget to press like button and subscribe to 80 digit channel next time i'll tell how to generate images in different artistic styles and how to tell story with Midjourney.